and so the question is basically does the location of the the mining pool the machines the hosting facility and the provider all impact which taxes are paid if you're mining through a provider and you're getting access to mining sites in other jurisdictions say kazakhstan or russia you literally have to ask yourself what's the tax consequence of me having a rig in a foreign country because if i have a rig in a foreign country and i'm just doing this directly I could be creating taxable nexus for myself in that country. Strongly recommend using an LLC. Take your LLC and treat it as a flow through from a US tax perspective. A lot of foreign countries treat LLCs as corporations, so they're going to tax the corporate the LLC so that if you do create a taxable presence in a foreign country under the foreign country's views, then it, you um, uh, won't have a taxable nexus. And if you're doing that, I also would advise um, working with one of the accounting firms or law firms in a foreign country just to think what it is um, that the foreign tax treatment of your activities are. Because um, if you get it wrong from a US perspective or a foreign tax perspective, um, you can create underpayment penalties and interest that could be substantial to make your your mining activity uneconomic. And we all know that the blockchain is permanent, immutable, and visible. So now in 10 years or five years, if they see you didn't file a tax return, depending on the country statute of limitations, they can always come back and say, oh, Mr. Sheehan, oh, Mr. Mr. Foxley, you didn't file a tax return. You were mining here in our jurisdiction. Um, please use the amount you owe. If I were small, I would just use U.S. Uh, mining facilities instead of foreign to minimize the issue, limit your issues to U.S. issues, and then you could potentially have a state issue where if you're mining Kentucky or Texas or Alaska, what do they think? And maybe then I take that kind of risk because I'm a little more comfortable with that.